welcome back. So now let's build the form and I'm going to be lazy again and copy paste. Since I already have the create form, I'm pretty much just going to grab the entire code from the cre user create component uh, and put it inside the user um, profile component here. Um, but remember this component, I don't want this creating user, I don't want the class, I want the ng submit actually sending in and I'm going to call the user profile form here instead of user form, that's what I'm going to send in. I want to keep the flex layout because I spend a lot of time on that. If you're not into the flex layout, find another layout. There are other options out there. I kind of feel it's starting to be a pain more than an actual cool thing for me. I'm really starting to get bugged by it, but fair enough. Let's hope that they'll fix it uh, to make it easier to use. Let's use the um, here the address card again, like we did inside the other page. And let's actually call this update user profile. I'm just going to kind of just make this into my new profile page instead. I'll keep the error here for error pops up. We're going to keep the profile username for now like this because that makes sense. And let's scroll down. I don't want an email available anymore. I don't want a role available anymore. I don't want a password available and the repeat password available. So just remove all of these containers for now. And I want one new MD container in here. I'm pretty much just going here and cleaning up right now. I want one more MD container and that's not going to have any hints because it's just going to be display name. And so I want as an input, I want it to be the same flex size. It's not required. It doesn't have a minimum length because, well, okay, actually let's give it a minimum length of five. Uh, it's going to be, no, actually let's say three. It's going to be the display name. So that's going to be the placeholder. I want it to be, the model is going to be um, ng model display name. The name is going to be display name, yada, yada, yada. And the actual um, variable name here is going to be display name for the ng model. Pointing at that. That's actually for validation again. We're not going to do that now, but we could set validation up. That's why we want this in here. So now, we pretty much have the, the look of the application ready. We have the container. We have the first input field is going to be username. The second input field is going to be display name. We're going to add a third input field of email later, but that's going to be a bit more complex because we also need to update the authentication user's email. So let's figure that out later. For now, let's just be able to change display name and username. Okay, let's scroll down. Now, I have a few clicks here inside my actions. I don't want this button to be able to cancel anymore because that's not available. Instead I just want to go into profile and have a save and this is going to be the user profile form. There we go. That I'm going to make sure is validated or else this will be disabled. And then I can have the save button and when I press my save I'm just going to call um, because it's submit I'm going to call this submit on submit up here. So what do we need now? Well, actually I don't need this div anymore either, which is the old div where I could flip this guy. If you guys remember when I clicked creating user, I could kind of show a form and hide the other information. We don't want that anymore since this is its own page now. So now the form is available. So again, run over the form, run over the code. It's not that complex. We did this before in the create component, so it shouldn't be new stuff in here at all. Now the form is ready, but we'll probably have a few errors in here. Oh, by the way, I missed this. Let's just do a, a git checkout uh, tags, and it's a version 43 now if you guys want to go and grab the code uh, before I make these changes. So let's see if we can actually go to profile now and let's see if, if things are working. We're getting an exception here, and that's because we're getting null pointers because profiles, you cannot call that of undefined. And just zoom here. So you're getting something like this, cannot read profile of undefined. When you're seeing stuff like this, you have a null value somewhere. So let's try and go through the code here. I have user profile, and I cannot call that because user is not defined. So let's go into our TS code of the profile, and let's just create a new user here. So we'll say user, and that's going to be of type user. Again, I'm, I'm moving pretty quickly through this because it should start making sense now. After you've built this a few times, it really starts making sense. And on the init, I just want to create a new user here. And since I'm also requiring a profile, I'm going to on that user actually add his profile as well as a new profile. So now at least we have something to work with. Um, this is going to change as we start using the user service, but let's just keep this for now. There we go. So now we have the user available. 
everything is honky dory and the profile should actually work now so let's see if we can actually see something if we go to profile and there we go now we have our update user form it's empty right now we'll probably do some data in the next lessons see you next time we'll start adding some data have fun